Hi, it's Tanya D, and I'm here to do some live swatches of the BH Cosmetics Pride Prejudice Zombies. I love this packaging. I love zombies. I love all this horror flick stuff. So when I saw this, I thought I have to get both of them for sure. And uh, this is the palette. It comes with a cute mirror and it says, I shall never relinquish my sword for a ring. Elizabeth Bennett. And this is the packaging. It's got really pretty antique swirls on it. And then you have these colors that are so pretty. And you could tell that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. Right now, I have this on to see the wear time. But I want to do the lip swatches. So it comes with five colors. And they're from really pinky, gloss, shimmery to, you know, subtle nudes. And this one doesn't have a name. It must have fell. This one is Jane, Elizabeth, Mary, and Lydia. Um, that's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do the nude in pink and then work my way from there. And these are gonna be also a first impression because I didn't have time to really swatch or try these. It's a brush applicator. Okay, it's just a gloss, I guess, you put over any lipstick you want. It's no color. Well, it's very pale pink, and it gave my pink lips a subtle, you know, a subtle pinkish color. <laughs> and it's just a pink gloss. Now, let me do the really pink one. This is the no name. This is the final look. And it is a very, very frosty pink. Now I am going to try this more of a pink. I'm gonna save the ones I think are gonna be pretty for last. This is Lydia. She's like a darker pink orangey color. I like this color even though the packaging it looks like it's a it has a really pretty iridescent color to it and it looks like an orange like an orange color I don't know my eyes been playing tricks on me but I think it's just a darker pink on me I like this color whatever color it is I like this I like it so I'll put it in my like side now the others. Okay, and then this one is Elizabeth. It's really pretty. More of a pink nude versus this one. See the difference? That's more of a brown. Um, yeah, so, and they didn't feel sticky at all. This um, is like a melon pink. I don't know, I'm, that's the way it's coming in my head, like a watermelon pink, but it's not really pink. I don't know. But anyway, mm, I'm not liking this color. I don't know, I just, for some reason when I look at me, when I look at me looking at me through the mirror, pinks like this don't look good on me, to me. But anyway, let's try the brown. And then this one is Mary. See, I was right, I like this color. I like this color a lot. So these two are my favorite colors out of the, all the packaging. I mean, out of all of the glosses, 
I really like that one. Now, I'm probably going to get a message saying I was applying that way wrong, but like I've always mentioned, I am not a makeup artist. I'm just a mom putting makeup on the way that works for me, so please excuse the way I'm putting it on. I know I'm going to get a message or a comment about the way I applied it because I always get comments about how I apply stuff. Okay, so really quick, I wanted to swatch this, this eyeshadow blush palette. Now I'm swatching these first. This is how they look. The gold's a shimmer and the rest, the other two are very uh, matte blushes. So I'm guessing the gold you can use as a um, highlight on your brow bone or it could be a highlight on your face. Mm, I don't know. These are silky, but not like creamy, creamy, creamy. But they do feel silky. And this orangey melon color, that one is really chalky and powdery. But these are the blushes. I don't know if I'm doing it justice. But those are the swatches. Saying you can tell that melon one is kind of chunky, but these two came on great. They're really pretty, and yeah. So um, now out of this palette, this one, as you can see, it has silver ring around it, but it's not a silver color. It's a really dark gray. So almost black. And it, when you first see it, it looks like a silver color, but once you take that film off, it shows like a black. And here's the black in comparison to that silver. See, that's the black and that's the silver, although it's not a silver, it's a gray, even though the packaging first shows that that's what that is. And then you get a softer gray. If you look right, there's a softer gray right by it, so let me swatch that one. And you can tell it is a softer gray. So when I was using on my eyes, but those are all three colors. So it just goes from dark to light gray. There's no silver in it at all. And then these are really pretty. I like that, that's what I used. Okay, so, and I like that one color. I used that as a transition shade. Let me swatch these last three. But that's the way that looks. And as you know, today is Saturday and I had surgery last week, Friday. So I still have bruising on my arms. So if you can see that, I apologize. I know a lot of people get offended or grossed out, but those are the swatches for the top three. And those are really pretty. And that's what I used for transition shade with the look on I have right now. And these are the colors I used for this. And I mixed the darker gray all around, just left kind of the center. And then I used this purple to uh, use all over my lid and then to pop on my inner corner. But these are pretty, they're silky, very silky. They're not creamy or buttery. They're just really silky and they blend really well. I was able to get the color I wanted and I was able to build them up because on the brush, it shows light, but I was able to build them up really well. And these are so inexpensive. They're not pricey at all. I think BH Cosmetics is a very underrated cosmetic company you hear about so many others and yeah they're great but then this is just as great and it's so affordable so i hope you enjoyed that swatch with the throw-in of this of the bh cosmetics pride and prejudice zombie and all right so thank you all for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it helps me a lot like give it a thumbs up I comment, give a thumbs up, that helps a lot, and it also strokes my ego, like I always say. Um, anyway, thank you for watching again. Have a blessed day. Bye.
Hi, it's Tanya D. And, oh my goodness, hi. And, you know how I am about packages. Okay. One's more of a melanish, melanish, melanish. Really, melanish. That's not working. That's not working. It's not working, Tony. It's not working with the dirty fingers. 